On these, I'm going to do the Northern Lights combo. So the first thing I did was rinse it, as you know, and then you have to stir your glaze after shaking it. So I shake it up really good, and then I stir the glaze. So you can use that with anything. I usually use like a chopstick, and then I wash the chopstick and use it again. Between every time that I use this glaze, if it's sitting here for five minutes, I stir it again. We're gonna put the glaze on in alternating brush strokes. And what I mean by that is the first time I'm gonna do stripes and the second time I'm gonna go around in a circle and the third time I'm gonna do stripes but from a different direction. And that helps the glaze, all those little glaze particulates fall in different ways and make a very opaque surface. The Northern Lights combo is one coat of obsidian first and then I'll put two coats of the Smoky Merlot, or maybe three coats of the Smoky Merlot. We want a really bright, rich purple on this one, because I know this lady and she loves purple. So I've got one coat on here. Now you say, well, how do I remember what I've done? Well, I'm gonna get a little piece of paper and I'm gonna write each step, how much I put on the inside, how much I put on the outside for each color. So here I wrote obsidian, in and out. So on the inside, I put one coat. So I'm just gonna mark a one there, one coat. And then as my coats go, I'll just mark another and hash it if I have to do five coats or whatever you call that, where you put the strike across it to say it's five now. First coat is obsidian. It's very nearly dry already. As you put more coats on, it takes longer to dry. As long as it doesn't look wet on the surface, I'm, it's dry enough as far as I'm concerned. That's pretty good for a single coat. I sometimes give it a little extra, just while it's still wet. I already rinsed them the other day, so they're good. The reason why you have to rinse your bisqueware before glazing it is because if, even if there's a little bit of dust on there, your glaze can crawl, which means you'll get a blank spot. So I have to make another little chart here so this one's for the big spoon rest. And then I have small rest, okay, in, out. And then I'll just do OBS for obsidian and say I put one coat on the inside. Now it's dry at the edge. Well, I missed a spot there. You get every spot. That was just to speed up my process, just give it a little heat. If you have your glaze too thick and you put heat on it, you're gonna see some cracking. And cracked glaze is not good. So when I've got all my glaze on, I've got my third coat on, then I'll just let it dry. So now I'm avoiding the bottom so it doesn't stick to the kiln. I do like to rub glaze into my signature and then wipe it back away. And that way, just the glazed part is in the deep part of those letters and it won't stick to the kiln. One on the outside of obsidian. Got my smoky Merlot glaze. I'm using Amico Potter's Choice. Now I need a clean stir stick for each glaze color and a clean brush, of course. I try and keep my workspace really clean while I'm glazing. Give it a lot of glaze on there. Okay. Now I'm going in circles since I did stripes on the first coat. And then if you see little pinholes after it dried, go ahead and rub those with your finger. Don't wet it. Just rub those pinholes and that should fill them in so they don't pinhole during firing. Every spot, moving in a circle. There you go. 
go. Okay, I'm gonna let that one dry. But first, one Merlot on the inside. Great. Beautiful, Got a solid coat on that one. See, the second coat is drying much slower. While I'm waiting, I'm going to glaze one of these. Mug number 15, I'm writing in and out. And then my first color for this one is Iron Luster. Three coats of Iron Luster on this whole mug. Same deal, I'm gonna start with stripes. Glaze it in stripes. This brush isn't really soft enough, so it's not putting very much glaze on. I'm gonna have to be sure to be extra thick with this brush. It helps that the glaze dries between coats because then you can actually see where you've glazed and where you haven't finished glazing yet. If you're quick enough, <laughs> sometimes I end up going over it more, but too much glaze, a little too much glaze is better than not enough glaze. Okay, now we're back to these and we're gonna do our third coat of Smoky Merlot. See how crazy this is? It gets really complicated. And here we go with our circles. Second coat's always circles. Second circles, they sound alike, so you can remember that. I'm just going to add a little bit more obsidian around the edge. You don't wanna leave your glaze open any longer than necessary because it'll start to dry out. I'm not sure if there's any point in shaking up the oatmeal but I always try anyway, because the oatmeal is the consistency of actual oatmeal, but it's not oatmeal, it's glaze, don't eat it. It's a thick, thick glaze, and you can only put it down about, about this far. Otherwise, your drips will, will get stuck right to your kiln. What I do is I just put a thick chunk of it right at the top. If you're worried about it sticking, put a thing called a cookie under your pottery. So how to make a cookie? Roll out flat sheet of clay, run it through your bisque cycle, paint it with kiln wash, and then you can start using it as a platform underneath your pottery so your pottery doesn't get stuck to the shelf if you overdo your dripping glaze. Shaking up that seaweed glaze for the final stage of the Northern Lights combo on the spoon rests. We're using seaweed and I'm just gonna paint a wavy line right on top of where the Merlot is. Just get a wavy line here. And I'm going to do this three times right on top of itself wherever I put that line. And that will make the glaze drip and get some pretty blue colors. So now three coats of copper everywhere but where the turquoise is. These two you just butt up against each other. If you have to overlap, just the slightest overlap. I'm just going to fill in my drawing on the bottom, my signature, the year, Apparently collectors really like to see a year. There you go. 